Climate change is threatening the world, but and we need to stop it. We had um, the coffee farmers from Jennifer's Coffee and um, they were visiting over from Uganda and um, they're the producers of the coffee and they're a social enterprise that is based here in Porth Call and is, the coffee is roasted in Bajend in Prabaris. So um, Jennifer herself was here and she's the, the face of the coffee and also Nimrod who is the um, president of the coffee farmers over there. They use their fair trade premium to purchase things to tackle the climate change crisis. Climate change isn't fair. Climate change isn't fair. Climate change isn't fair. We know climate change isn't fair. Yeah, climate change is, uh, uh, is causing a lot of frustration um, in our livelihoods. Our livelihoods are disrupted by the unpredictable seasons by the floods, by the increase in, the, in the pests, increase in malaria, by the reduction in the incomes from the reduced crop production. It's a, it's a threat. It's not fair. Africa produces 7% of the world's global emissions. And yet they're the ones that are suffering. You know, Jennifer's lost 25% of her income this year. That's not fair. You can't talk about climate justice without talking about trade justice. They go hand in hand. It's heartbreaking that statistics are telling us that by 2050, the land that you grow your coffee on and our cacao um, and many other other commodities won't be viable. Uh, I don't actually think we're going to make it till then. If something is not done urgently, the coffee growing uh, belt will be shifting and it will leave farmers without any cash crop to sustain their lives. And these shelves here will be empty. So if you don't pay attention to what is happening in the front line where we come from, you'll have less and less of this. Well, I want to be able to supply coffee to all the people of Porth Call and Wales. If I don't do that sustainably and by fair trade, then I can't guarantee a fair price is being paid to the farmers. If I don't do that, then they're not going to be able to fight climate change. It's our future. It's our future. It's our future. It's our future. Nature, nature as it is, was meant for all of us to use it reasonably to ensure uh, sustainability. So we think we all of us are responsible and all of us must address this issue of climate change together. It uh, involves the whole world mm. on how to tackle issues concerning climate change. Mm. You're right, we've all got to be part of it. 
And I think that, you know, you, I know you're planting trees. I know you've done a carbon offsetting program where you're trying to understand what carbon do you produce and what practices can you bring in. But we're all in this together, aren't we? You know, it's a matter of trying to understand how we all play our part. You're not alone. You know, government haven't regulated enough and businesses are just greedy and selfish and don't know what enough means. So when businesses are actually polluting our planet and don't care and, and, and are not paying the cost, it's got to be down business. When you buy Jennifer's coffee, you are directly contributing to the livelihoods of the farmers in the south, farmers like me, uh, in a fair price, by, by way of fair price, a guaranteed market, and for the premiums which will go a long way in increasing the life of the community as a whole. So when you buy Jennifer's coffee, then you are doing what development aid from a government would have done. You are bringing this development aid directly to the community. We love our coffee here in the UK and in Wales. As a supplier here in Porthcawl, I use a local supplier in Bridgend to roast my coffee, try and keep the mileage low, try to keep the economy going, try to keep the money locally. Um, they package it, they roast it for me on batch roast to keep the costs and the energy usage down. And of course, you know, being a fair trade enterprise, a social enterprise here in Porthcawl is a really good example. And I just wish other businesses would follow. And especially, you know, if all our coffee shops in Porthcawl would sell fair trade, we'd make such a big difference. It makes a difference by changing people's lives. It's our future which I really care about.